Howdy, howdy. I thought I would pop on and make a video real quick. If you've been paying attention to the YouTubes for the last day or so, um, there's a lot of fear-mongering going on about FEMA trailers uh, being sent up, I believe it's Michigan, um, being sent up and stored at an airport in Michigan. And this story is really uh, becoming a, a popular topic on YouTube. And last night during the, the live show, you know, I tried to take a moment and I tried to talk to people that are on the left or left-leaning, okay, about the information that they've been being fed. And, and last night I said that it doesn't, it doesn't stop at left-leaning news sources. The right-leaning news sources provide just as much propaganda as the left-leaning news sources. What you have to look for anyone that's providing you information, you have to look for the motive, the motive behind why they're providing you with information. When it comes to YouTube, there's a lot of channels that want to spin a little bit of fear on as much as they can because that's how they get clicks. That's how they get views. Drama equals clicks. And so that's what they do. And this story is just, you know, being taken up like a whirlwind on YouTube because, ooh, FEMA is storing a bunch of, you know, 350 semi-trailers at uh, an airport. Okay. Did you, by chance, Google this? Did you try to find any information regarding this? Or are you just, you know, being a parrot? Being a parrot. Roger. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like to not be a parrot. Let me take you on over to the uh, web view real quick. And uh, this is a, a local news outfit to the area that uh, is the subject of discussion. And um, and so this is like a like a board meeting, like notes kind of thing, and it's rather lengthy, right? And I can find it here; it wouldn't be that hard. Um, but I do have another page where I have it uh, queued up. Let me go right here. I've got it queued up right here, and uh, I'm just it's just like three four paragraphs here. I'm going to read uh, right here. Palmer provided an update on the Oscoda. Wurtsmith Airport Authority, he reported that the Federal Emergency Management Authority, that would be FEMA, will be stationing a, will, uh, yeah, will be stationing a hub for emergency services, 350 semi-trailers with equipment to serve a six-county region will be stored at the airport. After the announcement created a whirlwind of questions, speculations, and conspiracy theories on social media, yeah, who'd have thunk it, right? Palmer called this reporter to clarify what the Wurtsmith Airport was being considered as the FEMA site, but that no decisions had been made. <clears throat> Palmer, Palmer also reported during the meeting that the OWAA has applied for grant funding to build a new terminal, which he said will be a beautiful building. Okay, so that's what this is about. They're just making it an emergency services hub. And from the way it looks, you've got one back scratch in the other because, you know, they're looking for grant funding to build another terminal. So I'm sure it's just back scratching going on here. Hey, yeah, you can store your stuff here. By the way, can we get a grant to build a new terminal? Because that's how things work. It wasn't a real hard search to find this information, folks. It wasn't hard at all. This is what I was talking about last night. I I don't have any answers. The, only, the, the answer lies within each and every one of us. We have to stop consuming information from the liars. That comes back on us. We can't put that on anybody else. And that, that goes for whether you're on the left or the right, in, in the middle. It doesn't matter. Find the motive behind why somebody's bringing information to you. Find my motive, why I'm bringing information to you. I urge you to. I urge you to do that with every content creator out there. And then, act accordingly. Shalom.